Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Christy Krueger. Here's a look at some of the stories making news on this Tuesday, February the 7th. As SWAT and K-9 teams called out after a car burglary in Miami. That big scene unfolding along Northeast 69th Street and US-1. Police tell us two people were seen breaking into a car there. They did run away. One of them was armed. After setting up a perimeter and calling in Miami-Dade Police Aviation for assistance, police were able to arrest one of the two suspects. The possible second person was detained and a gun was also recovered. Police are searching for a shooter after a student was shot near Miami Norland Senior High School. We're told this all began with some sort of an argument. An 18-year-old student began walking away, and that's when that person was shot. Three schools in the area were placed on lockdown yesterday as a precaution. At last check, that victim was in stable condition. No arrests made from that scene. The Broward School Board and the Teachers Union making it official. All teachers will now receive a one-time pay bonus of $1,000. Beginning teacher salaries will be close to $49,000 a year, one of the most competitive starting salaries in the state. And teachers on the a grandfathered salary schedule will receive a 4% salary increase. The former administrator of a Broward nursing home where a dozen patients died right after Hurricane Irma is now on trial for manslaughter. Investigators say the Hollywood Hills Rehabilitation Center did not evacuate patients after the power was knocked out for days and temperatures soared. Evidence shows windows were sealed shut and a crime scene technician documented body temperatures above 104 degrees among those who had died. The state says the then administrator, Jorge Caballo, failed to get patients the help they needed and instead went home. But the defense claims that he is being used as a scapegoat and that the other personnel had opportunities to evacuate residents as well. As breaking news happens, we have you covered both on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates all day long. Have a great day.